It's always a pleasure to have you join us on the program NIMASA this week. My name is Cordelia Obe, your regular captain. I hope you're doing good. Now, in no particular order on today's program, we will be sharing with you some major things that happened in the maritime sector recently. We'll be looking at the interagency relationships in the maritime sector, but one will be taking the front burner today. I'm talking about the MPA. There was a visit by the MD of the MPA to the Nimasa headquarters. What was the visit all about? How did it go? You will find out. Recently, we celebrated these key workers in the maritime sector. I'm talking about the seafarers. We have a special one on them, and we'll be sharing with you what Nimasa is doing to make the lives of the seafarers better. Once again, welcome. I ask you to please sit back, take a glass of something nice, relax, and enjoy. Do you know who a seafarer is? Seafarers are the people who make the world go round. <laughs> seafarers are people who have been employed to work on the ships. They ensure smooth sailing of the ship while making sure that goods and services get to us from every part of the world. And despite the COVID-19 pandemic, this set of people are still working for the benefit of everyone. Wow! The International Maritime Organization, IMO, has declared every 25th of June as the Day of the Seafarer. And the theme for this year's celebration is Seafarers are Key Workers. Let us celebrate these special people as they are the people who truly make the world go round. This message is brought to you by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. <sighs> you heard that? Or you read that? 70 to 80% of the oxygen we breathe is produced by marine plants, so we should please protect our marine environment. Now, June the 25th of every year has been declared by the IMO as the Day of the Seafarers, and this year the theme was Seafarers as Key Workers. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all over the world nobody could do any major gig, and so what happened? A lot of the things that needed to be done were taken into the virtual space. Nigeria wasn't left out of it. Nemasa, being a maritime administrator, went on to have a webinar. And during this webinar, stakeholders from all over the world joined in to share knowledge on how to make the Nigerian seafarer truly live the life of a key worker. It was a well-attended webinar with participants from different countries and different continents joining the one-hour, 10-minute session. The DG Namasa, Dr. Bashir Jamo, led participants from Nigeria, while William Bwalia from the Office of Nigeria's APR at the IMO in London led international participants. Present in the hall in Nigeria were seafarers and select stakeholders, all seated in line with the protocols of the NCDC for meetings in workplace. In his welcome address, Dr. Bashir Jamo disclosed that there are policies in the pipeline to improve the quality of training and certification as well as remuneration for the country's seafarers. We challenge ship owners and employers of seafarers to take necessary proactive action to soften the pains of seafarers. We also work in locked state with international maritime organizations to tailor all our marine notices during the early period of COVID-19 to support you for the extension of the validity of your CPR certificates, crew change, guidelines, and procedures. The International Maritime Organization specifically mentioned that we should allow CPRs free movement from time to time. So our skies are closed, road closed, but sea continue to operate, CPRs continue to operate. So as far as we are concerned, this particular act is a sign of hero, heroic act by these gentlemen and women 
in the profession. The key speaker and consultant at Trans Basin Limited Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Karen Onimisi, and Nigerian Labour Attaché at the International Labour Organization in Switzerland, Essa Anyefio, both called for better welfare and support for seafarers in Nigeria, particularly in the post-COVID-19 era. With the theme of the event this year, recognize and we support all our seafarers and key workers, and we ask our countries and administrations around the world to recognize and provide them with the support, assistance, service, and travel opportunities for all key workers during the pandemic. Seafarers, regardless of their nationality, should be treated equally like our Indonesian staff, with no travel barriers or strict immigration rules, because seafarers are part of a global supply chain and should have access to medical show leave and course in accordance with local reg regulations and without restrictions that have been my stand as stipulated in my letter to the IMO. Other contributors on the day were particular on ensuring that seafarers are gainfully employed adding that the Maritime Administration should look into the issue of disparity in salaries. To the seafarers, the very reason for which we all are gathered here today, I want to congratulate you especially on this day of yours, which is the seafarers day as designated by United Nations, and to congratulate you especially in my own way, and to remind you that it is because of you that we are here today. Noting that the seafarer is a key component Employment for the seafarers, sir, should be a major interest of the uh, of this uh, of the agency, sir. When you give us training, what remains? Employment generations. That is what we are talking about, and I believe we have you on board as our captain. You're going to navigate to seafarers to get employment in this country. Seafarers have made our economy grow. After listening to the contributions, Dr. Jamo had this to say. The issue of employment, uh, just two days ago, we received the MD Nigerian Port Authority and we discussed extensively on the issue of our own protein dog vis-a-vis the issue of continental shipyard. And she gave us her word that by July, we will be able to have access to that. The, the protein dock alone, we're expecting to uh, house and expose over 350 Nigerians into work. Apart from five uh, departments we have in the protein dock, uh, the, uh, the engineering section, the uh, maintenance, the uh, electrical and other things, they will be able to accommodate some of the students we have so that they can learn from that aspect. So we are looking into that. And I'm happy to announce to you that any students that excel in, the, uh, the, in our NSDP program, we uh, promise them employment and we fulfill our own promises. As I'm talking to you, some of these cadets, they are registering, they are doing their own registrations as staff of, the, of NIMASA because of their performance in those schools. As part of activities marking the day, NIMASA donated to the seafarers items that included essential commodities, personal protective equipment, PPE, face masks, and hand sanitizers. Uh, this one's our hand sanitizer, and we have bags of rice and ready to our members. We only have the government board, uh, management of NIMASA, I'm happy to present to you for the uh, members of the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria. The Day of the Seafarer, marked June 25 every year worldwide, is a day set aside by the International Maritime Organization IMO to celebrate seafarers and recognize their invaluable contribution to the global economy. This year's virtual event themed Seafarers Are Key Workers, held via WebEx, specifically draws attention to the critical role and challenges of seafarers in the COVID-19 period. Introducing the new face of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. 
We are charting the direction for a maritime and regulating the industry for a better, bigger, and more economically stable Nigeria. Evolved to serve you better. We are Nimasa. New face, rejuvenated service. Nimasa. Changing the tides in your favor. A fruitful session there at the webinar and everybody left very enlightened. Stakeholders all over have commended NIMASA for the good job they are doing in ensuring that seafarers have it good. We'll be presenting to you this bit and it's an insight into what NIMASA is doing, the efforts NIMASA is putting into really bringing the commitment to life, that commitment of ensuring that seafarers are truly treated as key workers. The international shipping industry is the lifeblood of the global economy and is responsible for the carriage of around 90% of world trade. There are over 50,000 merchant ships trading internationally, transporting every kind of cargo. The world fleet is registered in over 150 nations and manned by over a million seafarers of virtually every nationality. Yet, it is all too easy to overlook the very real human element of shipping. The seafarers, whether the crew members be an officer, master, captain, or able-bodied seaman, everyone plays a virtually important role in our day-to-day -day life. The worldwide population of seafarers serving on internationally trading merchant ships is estimated at 1,647,500 seafarers, of which 774,000 are officers and 873,500 are ratings. Nigeria has a total of 8,714 seafarers on the registry with NIMASA under the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Transportation made up of 7,213 seafarers while 1,501 are cadets still in training. The theme for the 2020 Day of the Seafarer celebration is Seafarers are key workers. Seafarers are on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic playing an essential role in maintaining the flow of vital goods. It is noteworthy that about 150,000 ship workers have been stuck at sea for much longer than they expected. This is directly due to the travel restrictions introduced during the COVID-19 pandemic. Travel restrictions are blocking some marine workers from reaching their assigned ships. That's forcing others on extended tours. Uh, first, congratulate the seafarers for the celebration of the the anniversary which takes place on the 25th of June and to say that this is the most challenging period in our lives period where seafarers are not allowed to come down from their ship uh, we are free to walk about or visit places in the countries in which they birth and to say to you that uh, a bit of understanding and hard work will find solutions to this problem I congratulate all of you and I wish you well Difficult as it may be, uncertain as it is we must celebrate and give honor to the seafarers, especially because of the service in which they've provided during these, these difficult times. Thus thereby giving us the opportunity to actually also thank you for the service in which you have provided. When some countries like India and the Philippines who account for most of the seafarers globally declined to give seafarers essential worker status, Nigeria, through the NIMASA, under the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Transportation, granted seafarers the status of essential workers, thus facilitating their movement to encourage crew change. We designated the CPRs as essential services. Uh, all these things that we did uh, in the West Africa were almost number one country, which the international maritime organizations also recognized and appreciated and sent, it, sent us uh, acknowledgement to that. Our own target is to make sure that our CPRS is being treated based on the international best practices and we, will not let, we are not ready to, compla uh, to compromise that. I want to congratulate all CPRS in the world, uh, 
on this World CPRS Day, a day set aside by the International Maritime Organization to celebrate merchant sailors. They are not just workers, but also unsung heroes and our invisible heroes. While we are busy sleeping, the CPRs they are busy at work at sea. CPRs are key workers. Happy CPRs Day. When restrictions on movements were introduced globally, thus making certificate renewal a challenge, NIMASA, under the leadership of Dr. Bashir Yusuf Jamo, extended the validity of the standards of training, certification and watchkeeping STCW certificates for seafarers in Nigeria. NIMASA also extended the validity of mandatory and safety certificates and certificates of medical fitness for the seafarers, with the extension applying to seafarers on all Nigerian flagged vessels and seafarers with Nigerian certificates of competency who are sailing on foreign flagships. When the IMO endorsed protocols designed to lift barriers to crew changes due to the COVID-19 pandemic, NIMASA's management immediately designated seafarers as essential workers, thus exempting them from travel restrictions. Seafarers in Nigeria were granted passage to allow for crew change in Nigeria. Seafarer is only workers that will be consistently consistent in performing a very important duty to the world economy. Uh, I remember when we were having issues with uh, the dock workers in the airports. The performing uh, DG of Nimasa came out with a uh, marine notice telling the whole world that both the seafarers, the dock, the dock workers, they are part of uh, essential services. Nimasa also directed employers of seafarers to provide dedicated means of transportation on land for seafarers in Nigeria. The agency also made it mandatory for employers of seafarers in Nigeria to provide personal protective equipment including face masks for seafarers in their employ. All these were in sync with guidelines issued by the International Maritime Organization and the Nigerian Center for Disease and Control, NCDC. Nimasa truly notes that seafarers are key workers. The Nigerian Seafarers Development Program, NSDP, is another project introduced by Nimasa as a measure to ensure Nigeria contributes significantly to the seafaring industry. So far, slightly over 2,000 young Nigerians have benefited from the project, while 1,602 are male, 304 of them are females. Nigeria now has marine engineers, naval architects, and nautical scientists from the NSDP. The current management of NIMASA has identified sea time birth as a major challenge to the NSDP. So far, about 1,500 have undergone sea time training while about 500 of them are on the waiting list mainly due to the challenges COVID-19 came with. To ensure that Nigerian seafarers are given priority over their foreign counterparts, NIMASA has made it mandatory for all vessels conducting cabotage trade in Nigeria to be wholly manned by Nigerians with an exception of when such skills are not available in the country. All these initiatives from NIMASA, including but not limited to dispute resolution between seafarers and their employers by NIMASA, has made industry players applaud the management of the agency. The management of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency joins the International Maritime Organization to declare that seafarers are key workers. <laughs> The interagency relationship between the MPA and NIMASA has gone to new heights and is a fantastic thing. The managing director of the NPA paid a visit to the NIMASA office and that is at number four Burma Road in case you did not know. At this session, a lot of things came to play. Various agreements were reached and various things saw the light of day. The NIMASA team led by the DG NIMASA, Dr. Bashir Jamo, was full or the executive directors were present. The corporate head office of NIMASA hosted a very strategic meeting, which has the potential of addressing a lot of gray areas in the Nigerian maritime industry. The managing director of the Nigerian Ports Authority, Ms. Hadiza Bala Usman, paid a working visit to NIMASA. NIMASA Director General Dr. Bashir Yusuf Jamo and members of his executive management team 
were on hand to receive the MPAMD. At the end of the meeting, which lasted about an hour, the MPAMD read the resolutions which included an agreement for NPA and NEMASA to collaborate in ensuring effective removal of wrecks and derelicts on Nigerian waterways and ensuring that the Deep Blue Project provides adequate security for all anchorage areas in the Nigerian maritime space. We also um, would provide the necessary data for the maritime data bank. There exists a maritime data bank and a young port authority <coughs> working with the MASA and populating the data bank. We're also encouraging the uh, strengthening relationship with the Nigerian group for statistics on getting more data on maritime industry and maritime industry. On the issue of berthing the Nimasa floating dockyard permanently at an MPA facility to ensure optimum utilization, it was agreed that come end of July 2020, the dockyard should become operational. It is also heartwarming to note that both agencies also agreed to interlink the C3I of the NPA and C4I of Nimasa in order to interchange information that would assist the Nigerian Navy's response to security. Our platforms will And in continuation of his stakeholders' enhancement sessions, the Director General of NIMASA, Dr. Bashir Jamo, paid a working visit to the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, Honorable Justice J.T. Soho in Abuja. Dr. Jama was represented by the Abuja Zonal Coordinator of NIMASA, Mr. Zeilani Atta. Mr. Atta presented NIMASA's position of ensuring that the judiciary plays a vital role in the fight against piracy and other maritime crimes in Nigeria. The Chief Judge assured and promised the agency that trials will be fast-tracked to ensure criminals are made to face the full wrath of the law to serve as a deterrent to others. Some alleged pirates are currently facing trial under the Suppression of Piracy and Other Maritime Offenses, SPOMO Act. Introducing the new face of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. We are charting the direction for a maritime and regulating the industry for a better, bigger and more economically stable Nigeria. Evolved to serve you better. We are NIMASA. New face, rejuvenated service. NIMASA, changing the tides in your favor. In continuation of efforts to fight COVID-19 to make sure it doesn't spread more in the country, NIMASA took a major step. It came out with an advisory concerning 13 vessels that are coming from high-risk countries, talking about countries that have high rates of infections, COVID-19 infections. Now, these vessels, eight of them berths in Akapa, four in Boni, and one in Port Harcourt, both in River State. It's all about taking extra care, that is, stakeholders taking extra care when it comes to dealing with these vessels. Information about the vessels expected to arrive at Papa, Boni, and on near ports between June 23 and July 17 was received through the Command Control Communication Computer and Intelligence System, C4I Center, under the NAMASA Deep Blue Project, also called the Integrated National Security and Waterways Protection Infrastructure. Director General of NIMASA, Dr. Bashir Jamo, said the need to ensure stakeholders adhered strictly to the guidelines put in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in Nigeria informed the decision to red flag the vessels. We are counting on the continued cooperation of frontline government agencies and private sector operators in this regard as we jointly wage the war against the COVID-19 pandemic, Jamo stated. The Director General said the advisory was to further let all agencies of government and private sector operators at the ports 
of expected arrival of the vessels and to demand the highest level of professionalism and all concerned officers in keeping with the agency's earlier advice of handling of such vessels. He added that operators at the ports should ensure that all safety measures and precautions in the best interests of the maritime community and the country were fully applied. Do you know who a seafarer is? Seafarers are the people who make the world go round. <laughs> seafarers are people who have been employed to work on ships. They ensure smooth sailing of the ship while making sure that goods and services get to us from every part of the world. And despite the COVID-19 pandemic, this set of people are still working for the benefit of everyone. Wow! The International Maritime Organization, IMO, has declared every 25th of June as the Day of the Seafarer. And the theme for this year's celebration is Seafarers are key workers. Let us celebrate these special people as they are the people who truly make the world go round. This message is brought to you by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. I am Adekunle Olaretimi George. I am a seafarer. Seafarers are essential workers. I'm a Kosa Emmanuel. I'm a seafarer. I'm a essential worker because without me, there will be no global trade. Thank you so much for being a part of the program today. In as much as NIMASA is doing all its best to protect our waterfront, to ensure that we don't have coronavirus coming through that route, let's also do our bit while we're here on the land. Let's maintain social distancing. Remember to use your face mask if you need to be where people are. Not much said again because you already know. My name is Cordelia Ogben. If you need to know more about Nimasa, you could visit her website or you could follow her on all her social media platforms. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, they are all at Nimasa Official. Take care of yourself. See you again. Bye-bye.